how was it called the other one? R... Amy, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I remember her because... But the Amy robot has a more humanized feature, which makes it, I think, also a bit more personalized. Look around. Robots are everywhere. <laughs> Elderly homes, at airports, industrial plants. Or in a restaurant where, while you're having a chat and a bite with friends, there's suddenly a robot standing in front of you. You could tell that that was like a wow experience going on. We know uh, that people smile at the robot or even uh, embrace the robot and take a selfie with it, but we don't know what this does to their behavior. Do they buy more? Uh, do they return to the restaurant? Do they tell their friends that they are positive? And that's why Gabby, professor at the School of Business and Economics at Maastricht University, thought, well, let's do some research on it. How are people responding, acting, reacting, and interacting with robots? We basically have three pillars of research now. Uh, we started in the elderly care setting, where we try to understand how elderly residents react. The second research project was a very up-to-date topic now on, uh, on COVID. To what extent can we understand what the effect of robots is on perceived feelings of loneliness? Hey Vector, what's the weather in Moscow, Russia? And we did a study which is called an ethnographic study based on almost 600 posts online. And uh, there were many links. Uh, Many people said um, it really helped me uh, to uh, face uh, this pandemic. Or there was a picture uh, with Vector, let's face the pandemic together. There are people that mostly they have uh, uh, Vector activity all the time. 24-7, yeah, yeah. And as a third pillar, um, Harry recently started a collaboration uh, with a fusion restaurant to understand what the role of the robot is. Yeah, in our project, it's a combined innovation with service management. The other one is using robots, but mostly when the restaurant is not full and then they're more like helping other employees. But we also like envision a future when a robot will be able to do everything on its own. Okay, the future. What about the future of robots and their behavior? What do you know? What do you think? I think we have to uh, think about uh, the society in a different way. There will be not only one robot, but many different robots for many different tasks. Some will maybe look like a human, maybe some will smile, some will talk to you, some will also more look like a metal box. If I look at our respondents, some really say that the robot is as if they're a social company. Andrea, you can recognize me. No, hey, no, it's, it's, it's getting nervous. So in my view, the knowledge on behavior with respect to robots is really in its early stages. It's not known enough, and that offers us here at university lots of opportunities to teach our students, involve them in projects, have researchers work on it. That all really sounds like a lot of fun. An awful lot of fun. It's really fantastic. And uh, what I can really see is um, that it also um, inspires our students. And that's really what makes me tick, how to connect research, teaching and societal relevance, because that is what, what Maastricht University wants to do. It is. It is a very fun project to work on and uh, I feel happy and, and, and uh, fortunate to have uh, this opportunity at the university. Uh, when you talk about academics, oftentimes it's kind of hard to see how what you're doing can impact an actual situation. And with this project you very directly see, okay, we're talking about things that are already happening and we're trying to think of ways to improve this happening. And, and I think that for me is a very nice thing to really have this practical view.
sometimes he's snoring. Really, really. And hey, Gabby, one more question, huh? Talking about robots, talking about behavior. I could imagine a lot of other faculties at Maastricht University, but why the School of Business and Economics? Business and economics is about understanding behavior. Uh, so in that sense, it's not so strange uh, that there is a strong research group on robots and services at SBE. But what we are strong in is interdisciplinary research. Uh, for us, it's um, important to also make a connection to psychology. But we also work together with health service research uh, group at FHML. <laughs> I think at this moment, it's really unique what we are doing taking really this very human perspective and looking at them um, it from what value is this robot actually providing and again looking at the benefits but also at the risks and I think there is what we where we are quite unique also been recognized uh, for that uh, so Journal of Service Management gave us an award even the American Marketing Association recognized um, our work uh, on, uh, on robots yeah I could feel proud also to try to contribute and uh, put all my efforts uh, to deliver a, a proper and good solution <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.